hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm debbie and you are watching just debbie marie so today i'm pretty excited about the video because i'll be adding a little bit of color to my hair so if you guys want to see how i achieved the color stay tuned <laughs> Also, give my video a huge like if you've been enjoying my content so far. Remember to check out the other videos on my channel. I do also have another channel called Yardments, so I want you guys to check that out. Also, if you're watching, hmm, what emoji can you leave in the comments? Hmm, you can leave some kind of paintbrush or like you know, a paint wheel or one of those things, you know, that thing that artists hold in their hand and dip the paint in the air. Leave, leave one of that or a paintbrush or something in relation to paint to let me know that you're watching today's video. All right, you guys, so you might be looking at me saying, boy, you look pop down for true, like, oh, your ears stay so when I used to this. So I haven't done a hair video in a long time. And if you guys watch my natural hair update video, you guys would know that I'm thinking about doing a big chop this year for 2021. But before I do the big chop, there are a couple of things that I want to actually achieve or kind of do with my hair before a big chop. And one of those things was to add a little color. So today I'm going to be adding some color to my hair. So I'm going to be using the curls, the ORS Curls Unleashed Moisturizing Beeswax Color Blast Temporary Hair Makeup Wax. So yeah, I'm not going to be bleaching my hair or using a box dye or anything. I am actually going to be using temporary color and it's this color that I have here. It's called Bombshell. If you guys want to find this color or whatever, you guys can find it online. Um, I'm going to leave a link below to their website where you can order it and buy it. So this is the color. It is gold. I hope you guys can see that. Um, yeah, so first of all, I wanted to kind of read the directions for this. Um, it says wear gloves. I won't be wearing any gloves today. So yeah take an adequate amount of color wax in your hand using your fingertips and apply the product to your hair now my hair is actually old my hair is probably about six days old and if you've been watching me for a while you know that i basically style once for the week and then i don't style again until i'm ready to wash and i wash my hair usually on the weekends so when i style my hair on the weekends it's expected to last me the entire week I kind of wanted to do this on dirty hair just if I, just in case I don't like it and I can just wash it out. I didn't want to do it on my clean hair. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll just be using this to kind of refresh my curls. I'm going to take down my hair so that you guys can have a look at it and see what it looks like before. Um, I'm thinking about not doing my entire head, not coating every strand. I'm thinking about it because I watch videos on like this whole temporary wax color. And sometimes some of them can just look really unnatural. When I say unnatural, it just looks like chalk. It can have this chalky look. Because I don't feel like if you color your hair purple, like it looks weird. But it's just like it gives off like a chalky kind of look that I don't like. Kind of look like you have on, I don't know, like you put like some kind of chalk on your hair. And that's not the look that I'm going for. I still want my curls to look juicy. But I do want to still, you know, look like, okay, this could be like a, a color that I would have gotten at a salon or something. I'm hoping that's how it looks. I don't have a mirror here. So I'm hoping it will come out okay. Um, I do have a little leave-in conditioner here. This is the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioning Leave-in Conditioner. I don't really like this conditioner, to be honest. So I'm just trying to basically... Um, finish it so that's what i'll be doing that's if i need it i'm gonna really try to use the product first on my dry hair and see if it cooperates or if i need to wet it we'll see because the directions do not say that you need to wet your hair so i'm gonna try it first without any spritz or spray of the leave-in and see how it works and see if i need to add anything um, so yes, yeah, so I think I might be doing like a, just a little bit of highlights here and there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how I'm going to do highlights and I cannot see what I'm doing. I do ha also have like an old shirt that I'll be putting on. It's black. Um, just so that the wax gets on the shirt and not the shirt that I have on. I also have some section clips and stuff. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. 
we'll see how this goes i'm pretty excited all right so i'm gonna take down my hair so that you guys can have a look at it as i said it is this is old hair this is old hair and you probably noticed that i have a lot of frizzing going on at the top of my hair which is where i usually have a, a, a lot of frizzing um going on especially when my hair starts to get older so this is what my hair looks like i want to give you guys a good look at it good look at it from each angle so yeah so this is what my hair looks like i'm gonna be starting at the back um let me just open the product first um to see what it looks like because it has not been opened the seal is still there i have not opened it i was saving it for this video um i actually have a, a friend who did a review on this color the ors color she um i think she used like a purplish or pinkish color uh so you guys i'll leave her video in the description so you guys can check it out so this is what it looks like hopefully you guys can see that this is what it looks like um pretty hard i mean it looks pretty on my finger like it really does look like really golden um it doesn't it it feels i don't know it feels like uh what does this feel like i don't even know what to say it feels like but we'll see when it goes on it has that very um we call it men's cologne -ish smell that a lot of people say you know a nice men's cologne like a nice gillette deodorant that's what it smells like um so yeah let's let's get started so before i get started i'm just gonna put on the shirt over what i have on just to minimize the mess Ooh. yeah so this is just an old t-shirt as i said you guys so i'm gonna start by sectioning my hair i'm gonna start from the back um yeah gonna just start from the back hopefully this goes well i have a feeling that it might look chalky just because of the color that i chose but hopefully it won't look too bad right guys <laughs> right guys hopefully it won't look too bad all right so i think i'm gonna split this so i've sectioned the back i think i'm gonna split this in two just to kind of see and as i mentioned i am going to try it first without any of the leave-in so i'm gonna try it like completely dry and see how it looks so i'm probably gonna take it down like this much um and see what it looks like all right so this is the first section i don't know if this is too big of a section but we might see as we go along so i'm taking this much and i'm just gonna i'm trying to focus it on the ends because if you guys have been following me or you follow me on instagram you guys know that whenever i do color my hair i um you do usually only do the, the ends because i like how my dark roots look as like you know to give that look like your hair is growing out and it fades into the color i like that look um this is definitely giving me chalky vibes i don't i don't know how i feel about this guys definitely giving me chalky vibes and i feel like if i added the the, the spritz to it it will probably it will probably be even more messy i mean it is on my hand like I mean it's pigmented but not very very pigmented I don't know maybe I need to use more to kind of get the color going I guess I'm throwing that whole highlights thing out the window <laughs> because I'm kind of just coating all of the hair is this enough this look good does this look good can y'all tell me obviously not but um, it does feel smooth going on. It does feel smooth. Let me see how it looks. I don't feel like there's much of a difference. I don't feel like there's much of a difference. But let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Alright, so that's one section there. I 
think I'm going to try to clip these sections all the way. I'm going to try to really focus it on the ends this time. Let me wipe off what was on my hands on my hair. And as I said, this is not clean hair, people. This is my old hair. So in case I'm going to like it, you know, I'm going to just go on. And I hope this entire container can do my hair because... I think I paid about what? I think it was seven dollars for it or something like that. I do not remember. I think it was seven dollars for it. But I do have a lot of hair, so maybe I should have bought another one. But then why? <laughs> if Manada like it, better can last. Better can last. So I went ahead and applied the front of camera just to ensure that I was doing it properly because as I said I don't have a mirror looking into. Um, so I went and applied the rest of camera and this is what it looks like. So it's still wet. Remember I didn't use any of the leave-in. So this is how it looks. It was easy to wash off my hands. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it gives that chalky kind of costumey vibe. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I tried another color, I don't know. I feel like I've had. Well, I've never had blonde hair, but I've had like orangish, gingerish hair before. So I don't know. Maybe I need to get used to it. But this is what it looks like, as I was showing you guys. Um. I mean, I, I really do think that it did define my curls, especially since I didn't put any liquid or water or, any, or anything like that. I literally used the product alone. Let me show you how much I used. Um, I say probably I used maybe a little less than half and I did, I did do my entire head. I didn't really focus a lot on like the roots of my hair because I really wanted to still kind of have black peeping through so I didn't like totally super 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 um put it on like heavily but this is what it looks like I think I want to try to dry it with a blow dryer and kind of stretch it maybe like slip down my part or something and then probably do like a nice review for you guys but this is what it looks like wet so I'm back I stretched my hair I dried it first with a diffuser and then I stretched it, so these are my final results. Um, yeah, go to put on a little earring and a little, little glass and a little chain if you want. A link to this chain, it's in the description as usual. So this is what my hair looks like. I mean, it looks totally different on camera than how it looks in person. In, look, in person, it doesn't look as yellow. 
but like on camera it's giving this yellowish look it looks more warm in person um but yeah i'm gonna know feel what it guys comment down below and let me know what i think i'm gonna try to slip my little edges a little bit but this is this is the look this is my final results on the ors curls unleashed color blast temporary hair wax hair makeup wax it's in in the color bombshell um i don't know if i would use it again i mean honestly my hair feels like super dry like super super dry um i should know that my hair wasn't super dry it was moisturized before i started this but now it's just feeling super dry and i know that the wax probably did that i don't know if maybe i should have reapplied some moisture in my hair before adding this but it didn't state that in the direction so i just kind of wang it winged it whatever the word is so this is it i mean i don't think i'll go on the road like this because i'm gonna really think it look proper at all i look like um may i try to play dress up or something so i don't really like this color maybe just the color but my hair is really dry and really crunchy now that it is dry i don't have a lot of um transfer on my hands but when i was drying it definitely like my blow dryer and stuff definitely had a lot of the products on it and i'm just playing in my hair now and my blouse has so much um flakes on it like my top has a lot of gold flakes i don't think you guys can see it but the shirt that i had on before the black shirt it had a whole lot of gold flakes on it so that's kind of annoying and i mean the mere fact that this is the first day that i'm wearing it and it's already so dry i don't even know what my hair would look like tomorrow or the day after that but i mean i guess it's nice to just change up your look once in a while so i did it usually i get that crunchy feeling with a gel right but once i blow dry the cast usually lifts and my hair you know is soft but with this girl i'm gonna blow dry i'm gonna stretch and whatever it is still so dry so dry i mean it does give you a lot of hold but the dryness can't manage that thanks again for watching another video of just debbie marie i want to remind you guys to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed the content if there's something else that you guys want me to try before i do my big chop leave that in the comments i remember to leave a paintbrush or some kind of paint wheel i don't think that's what it's called but you know me at all leave that in the comments to let me know that you're watching Remember to check out the previous videos on my channel and my other channel called Yadmint. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.